I used to go to the radio stores in New York City and gaze in the window with all these beautiful shiny machines and say, gee, I wish I had one of those. And I used to listen to the jazz that was played at the time. I bought the records as a jazz fan. I loved the music, still do. So those things came together and it just happened. I would, I had some friends who were musicians. They'd come over to the house, they would jam, and I would record them. I had an image in mind of what a studio should be. And, uh, you know, I couldn't just go out and buy one. You know, there was no such thing as that. So I had to really, I really stuck my neck out and I went out on a limb financially. I had to do it again. I probably would never do it again like that. It was really risky. And there was no guarantee that this room was going to sound like it does. This Rudy, I missed the sound of this room. I was very impressed with Rudy being able to make the bass and the cello sound like I hear them sounding. This is my favorite place to record. Think about the music and the sound from those Blue Note and Prestige and Savoy records. Shaped by Rudy, whether it be John Coltrane or, you know, Hank Mobley, that sound still lives. And I'm glad that this place is still around. When I call up Ron Carter and I say, I want to do a Hank Mobley tribute, and if we want to do it live at Rudy's, he says, I'm in. Give me the date. I want to put it in my calendar right now. Hank Mobley has been one of the most inspiring players for me. His compositions are so soulful and expressive in nature. Hundreds of amazing musicians got to play here. And I'm so lucky that I get to be here uh, playing this project. Um, with like some of the most incredible musicians who've ever played it. Isaiah Thompson's 23 years old. Uh, Hank started recording with Rudy when, he, when he's like 23. This is the first time I'm out on the floor. I mean, I've been to the studio recording many times, but I always went in the booths. There's no headphones. You have to hear everybody. So that means that you have to play at the right dynamic level. Musicians really play it, makes your job really. Oh, yeah. When the musicians are good, it makes it easy. I think it's going to be great. I think everybody's going to walk out of here with a smile on their face. That's what Hank would want, and that's what I think we're going to have. And to do this live stream from Rudy Van Gelder's studio, we're going to have some fun. You feel the vibe of the music that Rudy Van Gelder has been responsible for for many years then, many years now, and many years to come. Van Gelder Jazz Sound.